We have to stop that. They just don't understand what they're doing in Sacramento. We have to keep that. Again, keep jobs here. Don't send them overseas or any place else. We have to keep them here. If, it's basic common sense, isn't it? If the jobs are here, the revenue goes up. If the revenue goes up, everyone has jobs. I'm running for state assembly. And we've walked over 36,000 homes already. And I'll tell you, what's the difference? I'm a Republican and proud of it. But we've walked Democrat and declined estates. And half of them have said they're going to vote for us. Why? Because they know it's in their best interest. We need to turn this state around. We need to turn this country around. You know when it's right? Keep it right. And when it's wrong, make it right. We have to do that. As I said, I'm in the targeted seat, number one targeted seat, because they know that we're going to win. We're going to change this. A lot of people don't realize in Sacramento, the Democrats, two seats away from the assembly from having the majority. Three seats away. Three seats away in the assembly. And if you know if that happens, Katie, bar the door. Yeah. We won't have representation. Why am I here? Because I'm going to represent you in Sacramento. Yeah. We need people that are being held accountable, who will say enough is enough. Yeah. I need your support. I need your support because I want to live here. I want to retire here. How many of your friends tell you, as soon as we retire, we're going to leave? Yeah. I know it. We have to turn that around. Yeah. I went to a, a um, future constituent store that was a Democrat, and she looked at me and said, Mayor Wilson, I'll, I'll talk to you because you're from San Ramon, and I know your record. But I've never voted for a Republican in my life. So let's, let's talk. Jobs? quality of life, and her daughter came in, just graduated from UCLA, and I said, oh, you just graduated from UCLA with honors, um, where are you working? Nowhere. 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 Oh my God. I looked at the mother and said, you know, you're like me, we love our children, but we don't want them living with us. <laughs> she smiled and said, you're for jobs, I'm for you. Again, common sense. We have a choice now. We have a choice. This is a choice. Carly is a choice. Yes! Meg is a choice. Anyone who works for you is a choice. Keep the dream alive. Keep our dream alive. Vote in November. Tell a friend. You know, I don't believe that I can convert everyone I meet, just the next person I meet. My grandfather always told me, if you need a helping hand, you grab your own wrist. And that's what we'll be doing in November. Grabbing our own wrist, pulling that lever, or coloring that dot, because we have to make a change. We have to make a change for those youngsters right there, so they'll have a future. For the mature couples here, so they can live in California. They can live in California and not have to worry about, quote, socialized medicine. To be able to choose their own doctors. It's freedom. It's common sense. And we can turn this country and we can turn this state around. Let's get out there and let's do it in November. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you and God bless America.